All right, guys, I got a question on one of my YouTube videos on how to set up a VPN. So I'm going to show you real quick um, what I did. And I set this up just real quick, uh, got it to work, and I'm going to show you what I did to do a layer two transfer protocol. This is what that stands for. Uh, so essentially, I give it a name, click on remote user VPN, click on L2TP, and give it a pre-share key. Uh, I created this network, and you have to put in this slash 24 Otherwise, it just doesn't like life at all, uh, and, and it'll give you like some red lines underneath there. Put that on auto, and then have a radius profile. You can make a new one. This is something that you have to do first. So essentially, you would be like blah 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 blah, blah is the name, blah 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 blah. Tell it the IP address. Uh, we'll say that our radius server is our gateway. Oops, one, 68.0.1. Okay, so it's on that network. Put in the same pre-share key, hit save, let's do this. And as you can see, you can add it, but this is the one that I actually made for it that has the same pre-share key as you see in here. And then click save um, and select that as well. That's actually, that's a Microsoft challenge handshake something. I forget what it means, but that is actually something you wanna do. Um, from there, as you can see in our profiles, there that is the layer two, etc. There's the junk one we made, so we'll just delete that for now. Yeah, we don't want that. And we will go back to services. And what you want to do now is create your name and a password. And this is going to be different than the one that you had. Um, I have this under VLAN 10, and you want to use this protocol. So this is the password you want to use to sign in. But not the pre-shared key. And then here's the uh, tunnel medium IPv4. And with this, let me see how much time I got left. Oh, I'm actually doing pretty good. Um, when you save this option, it will give you your radius server name that you'll have. And I typically use a DDNS service because I have a Synology. And I use the same name that I use for my, for my DDNS service as the name uh, for my Android device to look at and I'm gonna pull up the settings here to my VPN so that I can tell you exactly what I did in my phone and so what I did I hooked up I went in made a VPN and we're gonna set those right now and if you're on an Android phone you would obviously give it a name it's gonna be a layer 2 IP set with a pre-shared key which is PSK the server address is any DDNS service that you're gonna end up using if you have one available um, I, I use my Synology one. Um, it'll be uh, L2TP secrets not used, same thing with the identifier, but the pre-shared key, you would put in the same pre-shared key that you were putting in on your other portions that you had da -da -da -da. here. This same pre-shared key, that's the one you want to drop in there. Your username is going to be your, I think this right here, that username. You drop in and the password is going to be whatever password that you decided you're going to drop in right here um, after that you want to select your your uh, advanced options if you have it available if not then you can obviously just hook up under this but some of them uh, request for the uh, certificate to be authenticated and you'll have to deselect that if you don't have a certificate i don't have one so that's where it's screwing me and it won't work sometimes on some devices and other devices, I have to go through a couple extra steps. But if you're using like a Microsoft, um, oh, that's really weird. If you're using like a Microsoft product it, it, and you go in the settings, you're going to have to deselect that in the VPN settings to have it check for a certificate. Because uh, if, if you have like what I have here that has the red stripe in it, because it, it, uh, it, it doesn't want to connect in that type of direction. But that's what you need to um, get your L2TP working on Unify Hyper. And I hope this helps somebody out there uh, get the life right with Jesus or whatever they're actually looking for to get to, uh, <laughs> to take care of with using this particular feature. Uh, best of luck to you guys. Remember, I am a machinist, not a networking guy, and this is just a bunch of fun that I like screwing around with and having fun. So uh, use my advice at your own risk, and it's not even advice, just use my whatever I did at your own risk. And hopefully nothing goes bad for you and life is good. So uh, until next time, keep it real.